What's happening? What's happening? Testing. All right. What's good? Uh, so I'm still not at the compound, not at my regular recording situation. So this may sound a little different. I bought this little goofy ass microphone off Amazon to see if we can get this thing rolling while I'm in Mississippi. But, uh, you know, when we get back to Texas, everything will be at a regular schedule program. All right. Till then, though, uh, I was still watching film. I kind of wanted to take a look at how Amari Cooper uh, beat the hell out of Yair Alexander because he did do it. He did do it, and I know he he had his his drop situation that turned into a uh, turned into a, a pick for Dak, and that that ain't fantastic. That ain't you know the business, but um, I would say that he made up for the rest of the game. So I wanted to look and see how he beat the hell out of Yair Alexander. And if you go back to Vach's college assessment of Yair Alexander, and I'm sure those those videos are all over the place. Pardon his buffering, like I said, I'm not in the compound. Um, this is Cooper here going to motion, then he's going to da 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 boom boom boom. So keep eyes on Cooper here. If you go back and look at my um, Yair Alexander um, film uh, film assessment when he was in Louisville, uh, he was very aggressive. He would guess sometimes. He would he would really take risk in a lot of these routes. If he wasn't allowed to be physical. Um, which is something that his little ass was really good at. If he wasn't allowed to be physical and get hands on you, he would be very guessy. Um, so, you know, people want to talk about the Cowboys and game planning, whatever. I think it was it was a fantastic game plan to, one, get Coop on the move, but then incorporate a lot of double moves for Amari Cooper, right? We take a look at Coop. He's going to hit him with this out and up, and next thing you know, Yair Alexander's just dead as fried chicken. Now, you know, this probably could have been this pass could have been a little better probably could have had a little more yak on it i'm reckon um but it didn't happen however i'm only looking at how coop beat yair and it was or jair whichever one y'all want to call it that was a big debate when we was uh doing college study but um the big thing that beat him was that he kind of saw this out right here Jair saw this out right here and he bit on that. And psh, next thing you know, you know, Coop getting up field on you, you know, you know, now your heart's racing. So I think uh, even though this was a big play for Cooper, I think Dak kind of gave one to Alexander there. And um, and of course, Coop loses his balance because he has to adjust to the football. But hey, man, that's just the motion. Let's keep watching. <laughs> and then look, wait a minute. This ain't funny. Everybody don't laugh. I know that I'm apologizing for my uh, for my situation buffering one time or whatever, but it's funny that every time Coop double move Alexander, it just buffered a little bit. <laughs> Watch time out. Wait a minute. Let me move. Let me move this remote. Don't laugh. There's Amari Cooper down here. Every time Jair's in a bad situation, the thing pause. I'm not making this up. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, it was like Coop was time traveling, and time had to stop real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, man. Oh, man, I'm not crying, I promise. But anyway, yeah, coop, 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 coop. Post, psych. You know what I mean? I think this was fantastic in the sense of uh, how how are we going to use coop, man? How are we going to set him up? We see a little pre-snap motion there. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not seeing people saying we're not using that no more, so I guess I will get off that point. Uh, and, and, and it wasn't even motion. This was just a formation shift, but it is, uh, you know, movement. I would, I would uh, categorize that as, as pre-snap movement. But um, Jair, look, man, <laughs> we understand. We understand. And this doesn't even look like a man look just based on how Yair is turning his back to the to the sideline there. It just seemed like he really wanted to to float in with 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 uh with Cooper there. But he shouldn't have flowed in with him. He should have just kind of stayed outside because it's help on the inside. Like it's a couple guys over here to kind of help on the inside, but Yair just kind of free floated that thing inside, and that's really what what Cooper wanted. If Coop knows that I'm gonna run a corner on the back end of this thing i want you to get as inside as i could possibly get you in hey man coop is stopping time and he's wide open here catching the pass uh and puts us in green bay territory but y'all saw the last video so let's keep watching and how about this play let's just make fun of y'all here right here this how you know you got you got a cornerback scared because he just completely bailed on you right like this looks like a some sort of a cover three situation like i say he's not playing any kind of man because his back is turned to the sideline so he just playing like a like a deep third or something like that i don't know but you know it's it's just when you get a cornerback turned all the way like this like turn 
to the end zone like he the one running the damn fade route shit like that's how you know you got a cornerback scare you know and it and it was enough that the first few plays could beat um could beat Jair deep but uh you know it's it's like those first few plays set the tone for him turning all the way around and if you turn all the way around looking at the looking at the 100 anniversary centennial NFL logo if you looking at the 100 NFL centennial logo you're doing too much and that's how bad he got beat. Coop just turned around, caught the pass first down. Yeah, you're talking about he pushing off. Like, he ain't touch you. What, what are you mad at? What are you doing? What's this for? That means you want to get on the ground and do push-ups or something? What, what are you talking about? Get out of here. <laughs> listen, 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 man. I think at this point in the game, what was the uh, – what quarter is this? Let me go back and see. And the third quarter, so sure, in the second half or whatever, they just stopped making Alexander follow Coop around, right? They just didn't want him to follow him anymore. But it ain't like, oh, boy, on the other side, was that Kevin King or something? It ain't like he was going to do a better job against Coop because <laughs> Coop just going to pull out his little route running tricks. And <laughs> what you spinning around for? I had Beyblades when I was a kid. Why are you spinning? What are you doing? I don't know, man, but, but Coop really put on a clinic, man, which leads me to believe. I think we'll see the Packers again. We'll see those guys again, man. And like I said on the last video, we and I'm not going to keep reiterating, man. We got into Green Bay territory so much. We was able to move the ball, man. Bro, if we could just finish, we would have beat the hell out of Green Bay. And this ain't shoulda, coulda, woulda. Shots out to them, they won. However, nobody covered Coop all day. Gallup got 100 some yards. I'm sure we could do it all over again. Plus, we ain't even run the ball. We're supposed to run the ball the game. We're, we're supposed to run the ball because that's the weakness. We ain't even do that. So I'm just not I'm not nervous, man. It's just you just got to get your little bumps in early. I would rather get my bumps in now than to, you know, than to have problems in the postseason or like week 16, 17 when we when we really need it or whatever. But moving on. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick. Plug that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a Fire Stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. So let's talk about Amari Cooper real fast, bro, because... Earlier this year, I talked about how he's been beating cornerbacks regularly, how he hadn't even had to go in his big bag of tricks. I like that if we're down in the football game, Cooper has a trick he can pull out of that big bag of tricks. Uh, remember, Poe Fiction, he was like, go in the bag and give me my wallet. Which one is it? The one that says bad MF on it. That's, that's the one that Coop pulled out the bag. Watch this, bro. He's going to sell a fade with a hop skip to the outside, turn that thing into an in-cut slant, right, just to hand fight back to the outside, fade to the sideline, and then he's going to turn the yak up a little bit because y'all still sleeping on Coop's yak ability. Watch this. Uh, glide step, turn the thing out to the outside, right, just to get back to the inside. Uh, get back. Wide open on the outside, right? He gonna catch the football, and Sears got to sail on Maytag washer spin cycles back to the inside. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? That was all in one play. And then he gonna look at him, look at him. I know we lost the game, and I shouldn't be this damn excited, but it gives me optimism. It ain't like we bad at receiver. <laughs> it ain't like we bad. We just had to execute, fam. This execution right here. This is execution. Everybody want to talk about play calling. If we would have done this or something and Coop would have stepped out of bounds or dropped it or something, that's not execution. This is execution. Hop, step, glide, boom, inside. Come on inside with me, player. Psych. Come on, my guy. Come on. Come on. And then we're just going to go to the laundromat. The Washateria. You got some quarters? Look, and then, wait, wait, wait. He going to do this cartoonish dive out of bounds. What are you doing? 25. Why are you doing this cartoon? Why are you spinning? What you spinning for? You ain't got the ball. You play defense. You're supposed to tackle people. What are you doing? Whatever, man. And the referee just laughing. And she'll be just laughing. Whatever. <laughs> Get your paper, referee. Let's watch a cartel view. I ain't got nothing else to do. I hope I ain't stop it in the middle of the cartel view. I think I stopped it. 10 seconds. I hope I ain't stop it. Let's see. Hell no. Nah. Wait a minute. Get that deck. Ah! Damn, I stopped it. Hey, anyway, <laughs> next time on Dragon Ball Z. Listen, um, 
My bad for stopping it right there. I'm not at the compound. Internet was trash. I probably gave up right there. But listen, man, I'm not worried about my offense at all, bro. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not one of these fire everybody. Let's reset. We need to tear the whole thing down. Somebody on my Twitter machine says, yo, Vach, remember this tweet. We're not going to go to the playoffs. We're going to get a, 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 a like an early first round pick. I'm waiting on the draft. Well, I'm, I'm not going to remember your goofy ass tweet. You know what I'm saying? We're not in bad shape. Uh, we just got to get everything. We just, we just got to get the all in the machine and everything. Everything's going to get back moving. All right. Y'all uh, like this video, subscribe and all that. Hit, hit the notification bell because you never know when I'm going to drop random videos and live streams in the middle of the week just like this. All right. Y'all hold it down, man. Until I get back to the compound, if I, co if I go back to Texas Monday, I should do a morning after show. Uh, so we'll see what we got from that. I'm chilling with the fam. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Wolski. Peace. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year, or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.